This is a video for solving a trigonometric equation involving a squared function, problem type 2. We will begin this video with an example. Find the solution to the equation 4 cosine squared x minus 2 equals 0. Write your answer in radians in terms of pi. In order to find the answer, we need to solve for x. First, we add 2 to both sides of the equation and write 4 cosine squared x equals 2. We then divide both sides of the equation by 4 and write cosine squared of x equals 2 over 4 or cosine squared of x equals 1 half. We then need to square root both sides of the equation to get rid of the square over cosine of x. When we do this, we get cosine of x equals plus or minus square root of 1 half. Why is the square root of 1 half negative or positive? In doing this type of problem, we need to find all of the possible answers, whether positive or negative, unless the problem limits the types of answers that we need to find. We know that 25 has two square roots, plus 5 and negative 5. In a like manner, 1 half has two square roots, positive square root of 1 half and negative square root of 1 half. So the two values for cosine of x are square root of 1 half and negative square root of 1 half. These can also be written as square root of 1 over square root of 2 or negative square root of 1 over square root of 2. We then multiply each by square root of 2 over square root of 2 to rationalize the denominator, which you may have learned in a previous topic. Why can we multiply each by square root of 2 divided by square root of 2? This is because square root of 2 over square root of 2 is equal to 1, so multiplying by this does not change the value of square root of 1 over square root of 2. After simplifying, cosine of x is now equal to square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2, and any other angle that is coterminal to this. Now we must look at the unit circle to determine what angles make the equation true. So we look for square root of 2 divided by 2 and negative square root of 2 divided by 2 in the x position of the coordinate points x, y on the unit circle? Yes, and we can see that these values for root 2 over 2 are pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. What are the angles for negative root 2 over 2? It looks like they would be 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. So, to summarize, the angles which made cosine of x equal to root 2 over 2 true were pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. The angles which made cosine of x equal to negative square root 2 over 2 true were 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. However, these are not all the possible values of x, because adding 2 pi radians to any of these values would give us its coterminal value. What is a coterminal value? A coterminal angle is an angle with the same initial side and terminal side. This occurs when you add or subtract 2 pi from the initial radians, because 2 pi is equivalent to the circumference of the unit circle. For example, pi over 4 and 9 pi over 4 are coterminal angles. So how do you represent all of the coterminal angles in your answer? Great question. You're already one step ahead. We use notation to represent the coterminal angles. For example, when you see notation such as this, it can be read all k pi such that k is an integer. This statement shows that you can add 2 pi an infinite number of times and the number that you will get will always be equal to x. For example, pi over 2 plus 2 pi times 2, where k is equal to 2, and pi over 2 plus 2 pi times 1000, where k is equal to 1000, are both solutions to x. The only difference is the number of revolutions around the circumference of the unit circle. How would we write our answer using this notation? We would write our final answers as the following. Okay, I understand this notation, but I have noticed that in other problems the answer is written with k pi instead of 2k pi. Why is this? This is because in some cases, for example when dealing with sine of x equal to 0, it is not necessary to go all the way around the unit circle to reach another value where sine of x is equal to 0. This is because 
sine of 0 equals 0, and sine of pi equals 0. Therefore, instead of writing 2k pi, we would only write k pi, because in these special cases, the coterminal angles are at pi.